Come here, man. Morning, Ryan. How you doing, bud? I'm, I'm good. Slept well. Good. You? I slept great. Did Mira cuddle? Mira certainly cuddled this morning, especially. <laughs> she was all about the cuddles this morning. <laughs> Peanut butter, Nutella, breakfast is my favorite. Buen provecho, amigos. Ooh, we need that sun to come up over here. It's cold. Thank you, beautiful campsite. Somebody's ready to rock and roll. And her name is Mira. No crashies, flatties, whammies? Can you say that? Close enough. Somebody's excited. Yeah, bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Are you psyched? You ready for another day? Oh, baby, there's that glorious sun I've been waiting for, warming us up. It's 7.30 a.m. The birds are singing. The frogs are frogging. And it's time to ride bikes. You excited about this one, John? That should be another good day. Should be another good day. I don't know what it's gonna bring though. Yeah, we don't know what it's gonna bring. That's just the that's the way it goes. That's the exciting thing about all this. Who knows what's gonna happen? We are getting pretty high. We're at 7,600 feet right now. And for example, when I started one week ago today in Eureka. That town sits at about 3,500. So we're getting higher and higher. And as we go into Wyoming and Colorado, I think we're gonna be continually at about 7,000 feet, which means colder nights and mornings. Yeah, we made it to the top. You made it to the top. You were running and having a great time. Yeah, you were. And look at the view. Whoa, mama. These are the kinds of places that I dreamed of getting to on my bike on this trail. Out here in the middle of nowhere, it's just us and the flowers and the birds and maybe some bears off in the distance. But this just makes me very, very, very happy. Woo hoo hoo! Woo! -wee. Yeah! <laughs> That's way steeper than what we went up. <laughs> what do you think of that? Yeah, you got to run really fast, didn't you? So this looks steeper than anything I've ever done before. It just drops completely off the elevation profile. <laughs> Hopefully it's not really a cliff. I doubt it. That's where we're going. There's the cliff. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty steep. Yoo-hoo! Damn! Ow! Yeah! How we doing, Mira? Oh, I feel like I'm going down a roller coaster with the brakes on. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. 
Holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy, Steve. Oh my gosh. Smell that. Wow, look at that how hot they are. <laughs> yeah, they've cooled down already. They're steaming. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. You can wow. smell them, eh? You can smell that. Yeah. Are your brakes burning? Yeah. Are your brakes burning? Yeah, you don't you don't know anything about that. Same. Jeez, look at that. I know. Wow. Yeah, dropper post would be nice right here. Running down a mountain with bike in my hand. Have you ever been any, down anything that steep on your rig so far? Uh, not quite like that. No, I mean like single track stuff, sure, but like a road? Like a, a Jeep track? No. No, that's steep. It wasn't Steve Ramirez, she's all terrain. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's just sitting in the flowers enjoying her day. What are you doing bouncing around in there? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, way to cool off. Good thinking. Woo! We've just come upon a, a little town or village and look at that osprey. Just sitting in the morning sun, loving it, just like us. Seeing this osprey makes me happy. It reminds me of my mom. Here's a fun fact about my mom. She loves following wildlife cams all over the world and some of the osprey nest wildlife cams are her favorite where they just have a surveillance on them 24 hours a day. She also loves giraffes and eagles. <laughs> I'm always impressed at the stock that these little mercantiles have in the middle of nowhere. Today I'm gonna treat myself to some chocolate peanuts. You find anything good, John? Oh yeah. Whoa. And of course, huckleberry stuff is very popular in Montana. Oh yeah. I love small town America. I bought this postcard right there in the mercantile, asked where the post office was. It's right here. Gonna send this one to mom. You know, gotta send her some real mail every now and then, not just this electronic stuff. And look at this, somebody left me a present in my helmet when I went to the post office. Could it have been John and Mira? It was Mira? Aw, oh, thank you, Mira. You're so cute. You're the cutest. We're now gonna be riding a scenic byway for about 50 miles which is, is great. I like scenic byways. We've had our ups and downs and dirts today. Now it's time to chill. So John and I were just riding along and all of a sudden he's like, whoa, 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 wait, and turns around. I'm like, what, what's the big deal? This? <laughs> John found beef jerky on the road. Oh yeah. In the package. I say it's safe. Totally. It's kind of my thing. Mexico, I found green beans and I found uh, two bags of potato chips. <laughs> and uh, here in America, beef jerky. You know when you see dogs sticking their heads out of windows of cars and their tongues are out and they're just loving life? That's essentially what Mira does. <laughs> in the basket she just looks so happy and on flat pavement like this john really has to put her in the back because it's just too much running for her. so john has to work harder mirror gets the view you and I I just stopped here on the side of the road to run into the woods and pee. That's how you do it. And I'm like, wow, it smells good. 
And it's all of these lupine flowers, these purple lupines. They're everywhere in this forest and mixed in with the smell of these pine trees. It's pretty dreamy. been watching the clouds build up all afternoon and it seems to be coming in hot now the flags are blowing like crazy and uh, we're gonna hide behind this fire rescue place wait out the storm whatever happens of it we don't have cell reception so we can't quite tell if it's gonna be a long storm or a short storm or what but yeah it's definitely it's coming in it's exciting Mira, do you know if it's gonna rain? Can you tell us? Are you one of those psychic dogs? Thank you, fire station, for having fresh water. All right, we've waited for a little while. It hasn't turned into a grand thunderstorm, so we're just gonna chance it, get back on the road. You know, I really don't want to get caught in a rainstorm, but I have to say I love the smell of rain. Ah, it has that just scent of summer. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the, it's what we do at the end of the day. Hey, get out of my shot. Hey, you. Hey, yeah. hey, <laughs> you're sitting on my camera. There you go, say hi. Come here. Mira, we're going in. Mira, you wanna come in? Come in, come in, come on. Mira, come on, come on. Mira, are you gonna come in or not? Come on, sweetheart. Ah. <laughs> I got you, I got you. Oh. Yay, we're all in. It's one big happy wet family. So John is using something I've never seen before. What is this? It's a, a, it's a mitt made out of a face cloth. Look at that. Good for scrubbing. Yeah. Yeah, quite useful. Nice. We're ready for the ball. Yeah. So I thought I was done filming for the day, but I went on my nightly walk, which I usually do, just to loosen my body up. And within five minutes of leaving the campsite, I come upon this ghost town called Bannock. And Bannock, we saw on the side of the road, a highway sign that said this is the first provincial capital of Montana. And this is a full on ghost town. It's super cool. So I ran back and got my cameras so I can share it with you. Bannock epitomizes the tough, primitive towns that sprang up with gold discoveries. Its story also illustrates a century of survival through boom and bust periods associated with resource extraction and technological advances. On July 28, 1862, prospectors John White and company made a lucky strike, triggering Montana's first major gold rush. These weren't just cabins, these were full-on homes and people made them real nice. Oh wow, look at this old stove. How cool is that? Miners, many from Idaho's crowded Salmon River diggings, swarmed over the Continental Divide. By spring 1863, Bannock had 3,000 inhabitants. Briefly designated capital of the new Montana Territory in 1864, the first legislature met here in a crude log cabin. John, did you watch a lot of American Wild West movies growing up? Oh yeah, the spaghetti westerns? Yeah. I still watch them. <laughs> Check this out, this is the schoolhouse, so cool. There's where the kids played on the merry-go-round. They still have all the desks and the 
lessons on the chalkboard. Here we go, here's the rules for teachers. Some of these are crazy. You may not loiter downtown in ice cream stores. <laughs> you may not ride in a carriage or automobile with anyone unless he is your father or brother. Really sucked to be a woman back in those days for sure. This looks like an old mercantile. Oh wow, look at that. No, it's a bar or something. Look at this. What are you gonna have, John? Oh, I'd like a nice cold IPA and, and a pizza. That'd be great. <laughs> I wonder if they have any of that or back here. Or sarsaparilla? Skinner Saloon was built in 1862 by Cyrus Skinner down at Yankee Flats. Nice people did not wander into Skinner's. <laughs> This was where the most dangerous, meanest, and ruthless men in the territory congregated. It was not safe to walk down the streets of Bannock and Virginia City after dark, and even sometimes in the daylight. Shooting and killing was a normal standard here. All right, now we're gonna check out the Hotel Mead. This is the most impressive building. Oh wow, look at these stairs. Nice view of town out the window. This is a lot nicer than some of the hotels I've stayed in in Latin America. Does this remind you of the shining? Oh wow, look at this. This must be what hotel rooms looked like back in the day. What do you see in here? Probably just some of the details in the door, all the trim and... Yeah, look at that. I mean, even the hinges. This wasn't... Uh... Just quickly put up. They're expecting this is going to be here for a very long time. And I think that concludes the tour of Bannock. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to get in my tent now, or maybe I'll get a room in this hotel and get a drink at the bar with all the bad boys. Mm -hmm.